Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by FusionExtreme.com. Today we're going to talk about smoothing out skin. Now there are a lot of different ways to do this. Sometimes you look at images that are on the web and you'll see pictures and actually even in print sometimes you will see photos that just don't look realistic at all. I'm going to show you a way to go about doing this. A very one. This is one method for coming up with a very simple way uh, of making skin realistically look a lot smoother very quickly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to work with this image here. Uh, the very first thing that I want to do is create a duplicate layer. There are a lot of ways to do this. Um, you can hit Control J or Command J on a Mac or you can just grab the background layer here drop it on this little new layer icon and we've created a background copy a background copy. Now let's zoom in on her face and get us a better look here to so be able to see even better exactly what we're working with and what our final results are. Now what I want to do first I'm going to use a blur tool. I'm going to come up to filter and blur. Now a lot of people will use Gaussian blur. I don't like using Gaussian blur as much. I don't think it has as realistic realistic of an effect as what I'm about to show you. I'm about to come down to surface blur here. I'm going to click on surface blur and you're going to play with the radius and the threshold. You're going to find whatever you tend to like. Um, I'm going to go with on this image. I think it looks good right around 16 with the threshold at about 11 and you can already see, you look at how much smoother the skin looks here. Now yes, I know she's looking blurry. Don't stress, don't fret, we'll fix that. Um, but that, I, I think that looks really good right now. It still looks a little, like I said, a little too blurry. Believe it or not, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to come back up to filter and blur, and I'm going to choose smart blur now. And what smart blur is going to do in the dialog box you can see here, from what it looked like before to now, is it just is going to make the skin look even more blended. Now, I keep the threshold all the way up, all the way to the right to 100, and the radius is going to play is going to vary. I tend to like to keep it fairly low on this one. Let's go right around 2, 2.1. That works. Um, maybe a little more. Let's go to 2.6. I'm going to click OK. Now, if you look at this image, you're going to think, wait a minute, that's way too blurry. Well, here's, what, here's the next step of what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here to Opacity uh, in my Layers box, and I'm going to drag it to the left till I get to right around 67%. On this, every image is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go to about 67%. Understand, I'm only looking at her skin right now. I'm not looking at any of the details of her hair or her eyes or lips. I'm not looking at any any of that. I'm going to go ahead and correct the blurriness after this. Her skin looks pretty good to me right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I suggest that you go to, that you create a a mask and fill it with a black. Uh, go ahead and paint black over the areas that you want to um, correct the blurriness on because that way you can go back and change it. But right now for the sake of speed, I'm going to grab the eraser tool here. Um, I'm going to set the opacity to 100% and the flow to 100 and I am simply going to erase the areas that need to be sharp. Um, I'm going to just do this very quickly just for the sake of, of correcting. Here I'm not going to get too specific. Okay, if we look at her skin here just think about her skin now compared to what it was before. Again, this is very, very quick, and please understand I'm not being precise at all. Um, I'm going to bring the opacity down here a little more because I think it'll look a little better. Okay. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you if we take a look at what we have here. Um, again, I haven't erased fully well out here on her eye, but you get the idea. I'm going to click on and off here and you'll be able to see what she looked like before and what her skin looks like after. Uh, I still think I have the opacity a little too high. I blurred it maybe a little more than I wanted to. But you're in the ballpark here again if you look at before and after. 
and how much better that skin looks. Beautiful skin that still has some skin texture, which is what's lacking in so many pictures. Um, after people Photoshop, they tend to ga use the Gaussian blur and way overdo it. But if you look at this, you know you're getting the skin texture is still here. And um, it's just a beautiful way, I think, of of creating this of creating smoother skin. Um, anyway, that's what I have for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial brought to you by FusionExtreme.com.